Y'all remember, y'all remember that from uh from Impact City where I reach the TV broadcast. <laughs> I know we, we was on the own for a couple of days, but don't do it like that. We was out for about six months. How many y'all ready for that to come back? Good morning. Uh, Hello, hello. <laughs> what up, no. though? While you sit there on Periscope, just go ahead and tap the screen and release those hearts. We truly appreciate it as you're just sitting there listening and giving your input. Just tap the screen and release those hearts. So thank you. It's so appreciated. You probably can't hear me. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I was saying while the, before the music went down, while you're sitting there on Periscope, just go ahead and tap the screen and release those hearts. We thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, y'all could do, be doing some, something else with your morning, but you choose to sit here and listen to us. <laughs> you said that like that was a chore. <laughs> mm, nice. We definitely yeah, appreciate yeah. y'all. Y'all could be doing something important, but y'all, you know. I didn't listen, say important, I said else. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, indeed. God is good. God is good. <coughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, dog, what up, Rob? What up? Top of the morning, you wonderfully wonderful people. Absolutely. Hey, also, while you sitting there tapping the screen, go ahead and share it, man. Let everybody know what's going on with the marriage build yours. <laughs> yes, indeed. You dig, man. Because this week going to be off the meat rack, man. I'm telling you, man. Y'all boys don't know, man. It's getting ready to go down. You know what I'm talking about? Good morning, good morning. Top of the morning, you wonderful people. Tamika, good morning. Good morning, Shandrika. Good morning, everyone. What up? About as ready as I'ma get. Feel it, you know what I'm talking about? Hold up, man, it's real. You know what I'm talking about? So, you wonderful people. Uh, we have been doing the Marriage Builders for about how long now? It's been almost a year. It's been almost a year. Wow. Well, yeah, it's been almost a year. It's been almost a year. So, and that is an absolute blessing from God. It's something that we don't take for granted. Again, we think about you guys um, quite a bit. You are part of our weekly planning, uh, just like our kids, just like our jobs, just like church, just like everything that we uh, have. You are uh, part of our responsibility. So, uh, we make sure that we pray and that we are um, prepared. But here's the deal: in life. Um, there always comes uh, what we call a trial or a test or a tribulation, as some people would like to call it. Here's the reason for trials, tests, and tribulations. If I spent all this time, or look at it from God's point of view, if I spent all this time pouring into you, uh, sending men after my own heart to teach you, uh, to, to pour into you knowledge and all this good stuff, um, how do I ever know that you got it? Hmm. All right. The way I find out that you got it is by allowing some things to happen just to see what your reaction is going to be. So I think it's always good, as the Bible says in uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 3 in the New Living Translation, to take an honest evaluation of yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you have to ask yourself the tough questions to see, am I any good to... Um, not just my spouse, but am I good to myself? Am I good to my kids? Am I any good in any relationship that I'm in? Because if we, uh, we're the marriage builders, which means we're trying to build something. All right. So with that being said, this people is what we call exam week. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. You know, don't like take a test. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is exam week, people. Here's the deal. After you finish taking the exam, you give your answers to God by way of prayer. Amen. Amen. All right. So we're going to give you, we have 10 questions that we're going to be asking throughout the week. 
All right. So we're going to ask these questions. We're going to kind of elaborate on it. Again, your answer um, is going to be what you give to God. Now, I will be honest. I am an admitted plagiarist. I got these 10 questions from Dr. John Maxwell's Daily Diary book. All right. When I read it, it punched me in the stomach and I actually taught on it one time. But um, I want to give these questions to you now. But we're going to put our marriage build to spin on it. Cool. <laughs> cool. I'm telling I'm, I'm going to give you one more opportunity to share it because, man, it's going to get thick. So if you haven't shared it just yet, you probably need to share it. You probably need to get your pen and pencil. You probably need to write it down because it's going to get, we coming down your road. Mm -hmm. All right. So, babe, would you like to ask, ask the first question? Or do you sure. Ask it? So, here we go. The first question is. Question number one. Am I open to other people's ideas? Oh God! Mm -hmm. Am I open to other people? Go ahead, because I seen so, I seen you fresh or hot on you. <laughs> <laughs> so we come from being independent, being by ourselves, being in a relationship by I mean, being in a relationship by ourselves, uh, living by ourselves, paying bills by ourselves. Uh, if you had kids before you got married, taking care of kids by yourself. You know, you come from being by yourself into being in a relationship with someone else. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You have to share a home. You have to share a bank account. You have to share food. You have to share... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Bed, everything. clothes, towels, everything. <laughs> so when in transitioning, and, and I had to do this, in transitioning from doing it all by myself, I had to begin to take into consideration the way that he did things, the way that he uh, uh, was used to getting things done. I had to take that stuff into consideration. Now, there are some things about me or some things that I do that I just will not change. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But then there are things, there are ideas that my husband had that brought um, betterment to our home. Absolutely. Now, I could have been closed off and closed-minded and been like, no, this is how I've been doing it. I'm going to do it this way all for the rest of my life until the day that I die. But when I decided that I wanted my marriage, I had to begin to take into consideration some of his ideas and how to do things. And we began to collaborate and talk. One of the biggest killers of a relationship is communication. Dang it. If you don't have effective communication, your relationship will not last. Darn. And when in communication, communicating, y'all communicate ideas. Darn. Okay, babe, I see you doing it this way. How about we do it this way? Darn. You know what I'm saying? And you take all that stuff into consideration and you do what's best for the, the team. The team, people. So, it's all about the team, absolutely. people. Absolutely. So, can you take in... Other are you people's? open to other people's ideas? Are you open to your spouse's ideas? Ideas, dude. Here's the deal. I want to go just a little bit deeper than that. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from where you have to be the one with the idea all the time? And it has to be your way. It has to be your way. Where did that come from? <laughs> and, and, and that's why we call it the exam. Hey, man, you got you ain't got to answer us. We said take it to you in your prayer time. Take it to your God and ask him what is going on with me. Yes. Why does everything have to, why do you feel the need to get credit? Where did that come from? Is it uh, a thing that you weren't validated when you were younger and now that you're older, you made it a point to be validated? Yeah, nobody going to take my idea and I'm going to do it my <laughs> way. And I, Where did that come from? Especially if it's at the detriment of the team. Yes. If your idea is not the best idea, are you over? Open to somebody else's ideas. Sometimes your idea might be the starting point, but then as things evolve and grow, your your idea might be a little outdated. We might have to come up with another idea mm -hmm. to get the same solution, just another idea. Mm -hmm. And if it's not yours, are you cool with that? To me, if uh, if you if you are not considering your partner's ideas or your partner's um, thoughts, um, there might be some trust issues there. Absolutely, because. To not to to say you no know, no we're gonna do it my way all the time you know it's kind of saying you know I I don't, I don't want to yeah I'm not gonna put my full weight on your decision making I don't, I don't really making. trust you, you yeah know? absolutely yeah and that's and that's the God honest truth so um, again what is the question Am I open to other people Am I open to my spouse's ideas Are you writing this down <laughs> Cause we ain't going over it again <laughs> That's the problem with y'all take a test now you don't listen. <laughs> I thought you said that ain't what I said. That's why you got an elf. So I don't... <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the first question. Question number one again. I don't know if you're writing it down. I don't know if y'all sharing this with somebody, but somebody need to hear it. 
Am I open to other people slash my spouse slash my children slash my co-worker? Am I open to other people's ideas? That's question number one. Here's question number two. Again, it's exam week for the marriage builders, man. Take the exam. Do an honest evaluation of yourself. Here's number two. You want me to read it? You want me to you want to okay. do it? Number two. Do I listen more than I talk? Oh, Ooh, Peter. Okay. So there are some people. Oh, I'm Peter. not talking about none of y'all. No, I'm no, we wouldn't dare be talking about now one of y'all because y'all are perfect. Y'all are great listeners. Absolutely. Who but do, there people are. People that like that know that y'all know real good. <laughs> there are a lot of people in our society that love to hear themselves talk. Mm -mm. And sometimes it's. They don't care if anybody is listening. They're just going to talk. Um, if you're in a marriage <laughs> and you want your marriage to last, you're going to have to be a listener at some point. Uh-oh. Darn. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be, uh, you're going to have to give a listening ear to your spouse. Uh, men, if your wife come home and she had a long day at work. Uh-oh. She might want to unwind, and me, I unwind by saying what all happened. By vomiting her day. On, I mean, I, I, that's a wrong, that's a bad way to... Ah, but dog. I unwind by getting it off my chest. If I'm angry, you know what I'm saying? If I'm frustrated, I need to get it out, and then I can calm down. You know what I'm saying? That's so, why I said my next house that I give, the house that we get built, I am absolutely going to put a uh, <laughs> wing on it. That she can go in that room and share <laughs> all. Who I talk to, though? I need hey, to talk to somebody. We'll put you a virtual reality somebody in there where you get <laughs> all that <laughs> out. And when you come out, you'll be a Good better morning. person. Um, that's kind of where we at with it. Because sometimes <laughs> that vomit, boy, you know, get in your clothes and don't want to come out. Yeah. Um, but, you but, know, I, I look at it like this. You know, if you want somebody to listen to you, you also have to be a good listener. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because you reap what you sow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't listen to nobody, then you're going to get the fruits of that and nobody going to listen to you. True. So it's, it's a give and take thing when it comes to listening. You know what I'm saying? I want you to listen to me, but I'm, I'm going and I'm going to listen to you as well. You know, so it can't always be just one sided. Absolutely. Now here from a biblical standpoint, because we are pastors, sometimes you have to put about the, the biblical uh, undergirding behind your point. Again, the question is, do I listen more than I talk? Here's the Bible, what the Bible says. James chapter one, verse 19. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Here's what we call marriage builders or those that have been through premarital counseling with us or have been a part of Impact Christian Center at all. Here's the 80-20 rule. <laughs> if you listen 80% of the time, you will probably only need 20% of your words. Yep. A lot of times you can't, you don't listen to react. Which means that you only listening to find that part that you want to jump in on and then go off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like you listening and he trying to tell you what it is and then because I think you you just not doing your that's the part I was waiting on because you and you talking about I ain't doing my part and he like well, you didn't give me a chance to finish. I'm, <laughs> Y'all, you don't. That's not you or your marriage. It's people that you know. <laughs> okay, so don't get offended. We're just saying. But if you listen 80% of the time, what I have learned is if I listen long enough, they will get to the point. Yes. They will get to the truth because a lot of times in your initial hurt or your initial frustration is all your pain and all your um, all, all your hurt and all your frustration and all your anger. But after you peel back those layers mm -hmm. comes the truth. Yeah. And so once you get to the truth, you might only need 20 percent of your words because, you know, you spend 80 percent of the time listening. And there's nothing wrong with saying, babe, this is what I think you said. Mm -hmm. Or uh, husband, this is what I think you said. Now, if I'm wrong, please, you know, but you have to listen. And that's why it says be slow to wrath, because if you halfway listen, if you listen 20 percent of the time, Absolutely. you're going to be quick to wrath. And then sometimes you say or do stuff that you can't pull back. You can't get back. It's already in the atmosphere. And no matter how you reach for your words to pull it back in, <laughs> you, can. you can't get them <laughs> jokers back. You can grab. You can put on gloves with grip on it. You still can't get them words back. It's already out there. So, again, number one, are you open to other people's ideas? Absolutely. Number two, 
Do I listen more than I talk? Do I listen more, more than, I talk. than I talk? And here's your third question. I told you, man, it's 10 questions. We're going to be asking them throughout the week. And, uh, and who knows? It might be something in there for all the people, for the people that actually got all the questions. Just might be. I don't know. Who's to say? <laughs> okay, so again, number one, am I open to other people's ideas? Number two, do I listen more than I talk? Oh boy, here's where it starts getting thick. Number three, are y'all writing this down? <laughs> okay. Number three, am I open to changing my opinion? Based on new information. Are you so stuck in your ways that even if you get a good idea, some good information, you just won't change? Which you, you, Man, know, you just won't change the way that you God do. dog, yeah. boy, that's what's wrong with a lot of people right now. That's my what's opinion, wrong with a lot of organizations opinion, right now. That's what I feel. That is wrong with a lot of churches right now. That is wrong <laughs> with a lot of relationships right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the way when you got married, the only thing that shouldn't change is the love. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that shouldn't change. That should be the, and, and whatever principal things that you stand on as a family. Mm -hmm. That thing, that stuff can't change. But then you know, time evolves and responsibilities happen and the way you did it the first year might not be the thing that works after year 10, 11, 12, 20, 30. So if somebody, if she comes to me and says, babe, I know we were doing it this way, but look, let me show you something that I just learned. And then she sit down and break it down to me. Do I say, oh, man, that's just the new stuff that people don't mind. They just trying to make us do everything the way no, if it actually makes sense, am I open to it? Yeah. And vice versa. If there's something that I see, I'm 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 going back and I'm evaluating our family processes and things that we do. And I'm like, okay, this ain't working no more. And then I take the time to actually sit down, research, look some stuff up, read a book, try to get some more information, get some insight from people that I trust and stuff like that. And I find a new way of doing it. If I sit down and bring it to you, here's the thing that can really make a person stop communicating. If I shoot down, and if I if I bring up the, or build up the courage enough to bring a new idea to you, and you just shoot it down, and don't even listen to it, don't even. I mean, because here's one of the things that I I had to learn, and it's the truth, and and I have no problem saying it because it just it is the truth. Our church probably would have been a lot further along had I listened to my wife in the first year. Yes, indeed. And I know a lot of men don't want to admit stuff like that because, oh, man, man. No, no, it's the truth. Had I, had I not been so stubborn and set in my ways, my wife brought some ideas in year one that probably would have saved us some time, saved us some energy, saved us some heartache, saved us some pain. But I was like, oh, no, I'm a, I know the way to do it. And it puts you behind. And it's the truth. You don't know what kind of time you got. Absolutely. So, and vice versa, you know, and things that I, endeavors that I, I engaged in, you know, there were some opinions that he brought into on how I could do things, but I was just so stubborn and stuck on uh, me wanting to do it this in particular way that it cost me time and money. Ah, blah. When you start losing them two, Man. it's time to do some reevaluating, people. Especially your money. Yes, you know, Lord. Money. If you start you know? seeing the money dwindling. <laughs> If you start seeing a breakdown in time, like, boy, I cannot get this time back. This is some foolishness. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, again. But it, but it's not saying to every time somebody brings an idea to you, you know what I'm saying? You're changing the way that you no. view things. You know what I'm saying? Take, this, take it into consideration. You know, I... When we bring ideas to each other, we'll we'll say, you know, okay, babe, I'm gonna take this into consideration, and yeah. then we're gonna move forward. And if you, you know what I'm saying, and if you listen to the question, I don't mean to cut you off. Mm -hmm. If you listen to the question, it says, "Am I open?" Yes, that's the big thing. A lot of times, we not open to nothing, man. We just, hey, I'm set in my ways. If you ever want to see something die quickly, find something that's set in its ways. Wow. Won't change. Won't change. Won't readjust. Wow. Won't redo anything. You go to the doctor's office. The doctor say, hey, you got to cut out all this sodium. You got to cut out all this sugar. You got to do this or it's going to take time off of your life. Well, I, I better eat like this. 
I don't, I mean, I've been doing it like this, so why is that? My grandma and them have been doing it like this. That ain't the point, man. If somebody brings some information to you that could preserve some stuff, save some stuff, yeah. enhance some stuff, you at least have to be open Absolutely. to hearing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I might have this opinion uh, on raising kids, but if somebody brings some valid stuff to me and, and it actually works, I'm, with, I'm open to changing my views on it. I'm open to changing uh, the way I see if somebody tells you this how you're supposed to be married and somebody come back with a valid excuse as to why that ain't gonna work yeah. are you open to it or are you just the one that's just gonna say hey man it ain't me man ain't it, it, me. it's for the betterment of your family you know what I'm saying sorry about if that it's, if it's for the betterment of your family it's gonna make your family better it's gonna make everything around you better the people that's attached or connected to you better then why not? You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Take it, be open to it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be the person set in your ways and nobody could tell you nothing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, we, we, we all know somebody, at least one person, that's so set in their ways, you can't tell them nothing. And yeah, everybody, man. don't nobody care to be around them. Yeah. Because they so stubborn and stuck in their ways. And, and, and sometimes, <laughs> man, we can, we can settle for it. Man, sometimes, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, man, sometimes people will make you think something wrong with you because you're starting to see things different. Mm -hmm. Or the way you once saw them, you don't see it like that no more. Everybody's open and everybody has a right to evolve mm -hmm. and grow mm -hmm. and get better Absolutely. and see things from a different perspective. And if you are attached to or, uh, or especially, I mean, when it comes to marriage, you just got to keep working on that thing, man. It ain't, it ain't all about just, okay, they ain't listening, so it's time to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. Uh, some stuff you're just going to have to work through. Absolutely. But sometimes it's organizations and things that you're you connected to, man, that's just not growing. It is not trying to evolve. It is not trying to get better. And they're not even open to whatever new idea might be coming along. Yeah. Hey, man, when we sit down and do uh, meetings at our church or whatever or focus leaders, our leadership meetings and stuff like that, I don't sit, I don't stand up there as a dictator. My wife doesn't stand up there as a dictator. We want to hear, hear, hey, here's the overall goal. Now, let me hear what y'all's y'all opinion is on it. Let me, let me hear y'all's ideas. But, deal. you know, we had to learn that because uh, in, in watching, you know, R.A. Vernon and, and T.D. Jakes, how they, go, how they are with their leaders, and when they do their leadership conference, they taught us to be mm. open yeah. in that area because there are areas that you were like, you know, I'm the leader, I'm the, I'm the head. I'm the visionary. You know what I'm saying? You know, God gave it to me and I'm not willing to budge, you know. But we had to learn how to do that and to be okay with allowing people to have ideas. It's okay for other people to have ideas yeah. and opinions about what you're doing. Uh, Take it. Be open to it because it may be the thing that God is sending to you to unlock unlimited potential in your life. You know absolutely. What I'm but if you closed off to everybody and you closed off to other people's opinions that God can't get nothing to you because trying to get trying to get something. Is, yeah. What's the purpose of you being work? here? What's the purpose of you being here? If, you, if you're not going to evolve, if you're not going to grow, if you're not going to... I mean, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't find... I, ain't, you, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't know a nice way to do it. <laughs> What's your point? What's the purpose of you being... Hey, look, if you're just going to sit here and take up space, yeah. then then why? Even in a room that you're not familiar in, if they you're, you are invited to the room, there is an opinion or something that you have to offer in that room. And when your time comes, you have to be able to articulate that. Ooh, and, and because you have to be able to articulate it, um, mm -hmm. you know, somebody wants to hear something that you have to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I come, That's why uh, the 80-20 rule comes into effect even when it comes to this. Because if you sit down and you're in a room that you don't know, with people that you don't know, it is always great to observe. Listen, hey, let me, let me see what's going on. Let me let me pay attention to what's going on. That way, when it comes to me, I have somewhat of an educated response to whatever is going on in the room, and it's not just a free will, free will mm -hmm. throw it off thing that's not going to just be an embarrassment to yourself, but everybody that's attached to you. Yeah. So it's always bigger than you, man. But are you open to well, to changing your opinion based on other people's? But even in your marriage, you know, because we are the marriage builders. You know what I'm saying? Does your spouse have a, have have the leeway to to voice their opinion? You know what I'm saying? Are you? Why did you marry them if they can't speak? You, know what I'm saying? Did you just want somebody to just be that submissive to you, yeah. and not have an opinion, and they. Just, 
I mean, that's 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 borderline yeah, slavery. You, yeah. <laughs> or you just you know got tired of bed being cold. You just do what I tell you to do. Are we gonna do it my way or no way? You know what I'm saying? All you do, the only thing you miss it is the whip. You know yeah. What I'm, I'm sorry, well, I should say that. No but <laughs> it's already out there though. But you know what I'm saying? Does your spouse have the the uh, the room to to voice their opinions? You know what I'm saying on 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 things regarding your family, on things regarding your finances. Does do they have that leeway? You know what I'm yep. saying? Or is it just your way or no way? You might want to be by yourself if it's your way or no if way. If it's your you way know? or no way, strongly consider being that's by not, yourself. That's not the God kind of love, and that's not what God ordained marriage to be. Not you know? at all. So um, here's, the, again, man, let's run over these three questions one more time, man, because we got some, it get thicker absolutely. in these next couple of days. I know everybody I like wasn't you. on today, like but it, oh boy, we're not even going <laughs> to give you a sneak peek, but here's the three questions for the day. If you're taking the exam, might be something in there for you. I can't say. I don't know. Ain't no telling about the marriage builder. They be doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> Anywho, question number one. Again, am I open to other people's ideas? Check yourself. Why do I feel like it has to be my idea all the time? Yes. You know, if it's for the betterment of the team, why can't somebody else's idea? Here's the thing about other people's opinion or ideas that work. You get paid too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So again, number one, am I open to other people's ideas? What's number two? Good pastor. Do I listen more than I talk? Do I listen more than I talk? And number three, am I open to changing my opinion based, based on, on new, new information? information? Somebody brings a new way of doing something to me. Am I at least open to it? If my husband or my spot, my wife brings a new idea to the table that can be beneficial, not just for me and them, but for the kids and for our legacy, mm -hmm. am I at least open to it? That's like living in today's society and not knowing how to use a computer. Or, you know yeah, what man, man, my dad. Cell phone, man, know? my dad used to go back and forth all the time. Hey, man, come on, man, at least try. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a paper man. Hey, you're gonna be unemployed a little bit because. <laughs> Everything, everything is going, going to the computer. computer. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you ain't going to be able to get a job nowhere in a minute. Because if you don't know how to use no computer, daddy, you're just going to be outdated. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the thing, <laughs> man. So, hey, look, we got more, man. That's only three. We got seven more questions, man. And they go even deeper than that. So I encourage you all, hop in, be a part of. Uh, if you had didn't get this from the beginning, go back and watch it. Sit down with your spouse and watch it. Hey, take it in your coworkers' uh, place. Sit down with them and look at it. See, these things can be applied in a whole lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. But we are the marriage builders, so we wrap them around marriage. But it can be applied in a whole lot of different areas. So go back and look at it. Sometimes you got to go back and look at it again and yep. sit down and take this exam with your spouse. Mm -hmm. So we can see where we are and how we need to get better. So we always want to see things get better, grow, and move, and that's the plan for the marriage builders. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. Well tap. Let's pray, y'all. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you've given us. Thank you, Father, for everything that you do daily in our lives. Your covering, your protection cannot be monetized. What you do for us, we cannot put a dollar value on, but we can say thank you. So we thank you right now, God, for helping us to take an honest evaluation of our marriage, our relationships, our engagements. Help us, God, to, to have a forever mindset and not a in spite of a, a not quite or just in case attitude father we thank you right now god for strengthening every married couple every engaged couple those in relationship those are the single father that is taking this exam seriously to make sure that they have uh, they know what they bring to the table we thank you in advance for that even right now we give you all the praise honor and glory in jesus name, jesus name. Amen. 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 amen so um if you like pastor said earlier if you didn't get it from the beginning please go back and re go back and rebroadcast it go still back leave your um your your comments we'll we'll still read go them. back and Look at it absolutely. We always do. Yeah. We always do. We go back and look at it. Here's another thing too. I want to throw out there. If you like what the marriage builders do, if you've been watching us um, this past year or so that we've been on, and you like what we do, and you think we can be uh, beneficial uh, to your ministry or your job or whatever you got going on, hey. In, drop us a line, inbox us, give us and send us an invitation and we will make it. We will do everything that we can to be there to uh, pour into your, your church or your uh, conference or whatever it is that you have going on. We'll be there to pour into it, man, and do what we do. 
Yes, Lord. All right. So if you uh, if you like what's going on and you want the marriage builders to come to your church or your event or your function. Your city, and, your state. Yeah, your city, your state. <laughs> uh, hit us up, man. We around. You know what I'm talking about? We travel. Man, we do. You know what I'm saying? We got two cars. We got two cars. One for the road and one for the city. We got two. <laughs> you got issues. <laughs> so thank y'all for joining us. Like we said, please rebroadcast, share, um, like our page, The Marriage Builders. If you would like for us to come and be a part of your ministry for a day or two, let us know. We're open to all of that. Hey, you know? to the man. So we thank y'all. Y'all have a great day on purpose, in purpose. Take these three questions seriously. <laughs> think about them throughout your day and, and answer them for yourself, you and your spouse. You and your co-workers, you and your children. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, this is some serious stuff. Like I said, we only asked three today. Yeah. We got seven, seven more to more. go, man. And we rolling all week. So we need to hear from y'all. We need to see y'all. Again, if y'all need the marriage builders, y'all want us to come where you at, inbox and send us an invitation, man. We'll be on our way. Amen. So we love y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great day on purpose and in purpose. And remember, I love you as only Pastor L can. Hashtag I'm an impact toy Hashtag is bigger than me Hashtag moving forward Hashtag no review mirrors Hashtag this is worth fighting for And the biggest hashtag of them all You wonderfully wonderful Say sanctified And feel with the Holy Ghost people <laughs> Don't just live Make, Make an impact, impact man love We y'all. love y'all so much <laughs> man y'all. In the meantime In between time Share 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 If you need us in boxes We on our way Love y'all so much, man. In the meantime, in between time. It be later. It be later.